Okay, I am going to be making tres leches and I'm going by this recipe here. Betty Crocker. That's my first time, so bear with me. I am going to do the last direction. This is in four, se four sections. I'm going to do number four in a large bowl, which is going to be this one. I'm going to do all the liquids first. So I am going to put in the condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk, like so. And I am going to need a spatula, so hold on a minute. Yeah, pretty red spatula. Look at that. Okay. Back to work. One can of condensed milk. Make sure I get all of the goody goody yum yum out of there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, and then next, we are going to add whole milk, and I'm going to be using a cup of whole milk. I'm going to measure out our milk in our trusty measuring cup. And there we go. We got one cup. And in place of my whipping cream, I'm going to use 3 fourths cup milk. Three fourths cup milk. See? Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. And I'm going to add one fourth whooping cream. Okay. I'm just gonna dip this in here. One fourth of whooping cream. It's okay if it's a little bit heapy happy right there. A little bit mountain there. So whatever you want to call it. Then next, we shall add the carnation milk. Put that in there. We shall add, we shall add. Okay. I'm stirring it and stirring it. And now I'm going to add condensed milk. One can of condensed milk. Or one can of carnation milk, I meant to say. And I'm just stirring this to try to get it blend all together. And then we're going to refrigerate it and let it um, get cold while the cake is baking. This, this is the tres leches.
It's okay. Not a problem. It just breaks up the the silence. And we need to fill the radio with it. Sound. Yeah, I'm trying to, but I run out of words sometimes. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate on breaking up these uh, whipped cream pieces that are in here because you want this to be I no lumps. I'm going to mix the first. Yeah, I should have done that. But this being my first time, I always learn. Well, I do anyway. Next time I'll pour all the stuff in here a little bit more differently. Like I'll do the whip thing. Next time I'll use the whipping Next time I'll use the whipping cream. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. But okay. if we have no whipping cream and I have to do this step again, I'll do the whipped cream first with the milk, stir that up, and then add the other ones. Because I can do it with a fork and whip it. Moving the clumps, the lumps, make it all liquidy. I could use a blender in here or a mixer, but I just want to just stir this together and not liquefy it too much. Tastes real good. Mm. You want to taste this? Oh, this tastes awesome. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to refrigerate this in the refrigerator and let it get cold because then when the cake is done, then we're going to pour this over the cake. This is the tres leches. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah. But that's the tres leches right there. So we'll go ahead and refrigerate this. Okay. Now, on to the cake part. And the cake part is going to be in this bowl here. And the cake part in a large bowl will be cake mix, water, oil, vanilla, eggs with electric beater, which I am going to use the electric beater. Now, let me go ahead and put this here. This camera is standing. This will support it. We're going to use... um. camera went for a spin backwards okay we're gonna use a super moist and this is butter pecan because that's what I like you can use white or yellow cake it don't really matter or whatever flavor you like so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here in the mix in the bowl and mix it all up together mm -hmm. and I need to cut this open ah. I thought I was prepared with everything, and I guess I wasn't. Always got to be missing something. Pour this in the pan. Now I'm going by this recipe and not this recipe. Okay. I'll tell you what the difference is in a minute. I've never made this before, but there is a difference between this recipe and this recipe, okay? So, the difference is that I see is that this calls for four eggs, while the 
box calls for three eggs and the other difference is that the box calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil where on this recipe here, Betty Crocker recipe, asks for um, how much? It asks for one tablespoon of oil, so that's a real big difference. And then this asks for one cup of water, but in reality, I am going to use one cup of milk, okay? So, here we go. And crack the four eggs in here. There were my four eggs. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to do the... Uh, we got the cake mix, the oil, I mean the eggs, and now we're going to do the oil, and I said one tablespoon. We have a half a, half a tablespoon, so we're going to fill this up twice. That'll be one tablespoon. Still better than a half a cup of oil. And this is vegetable oil. vanilla and that is two teaspoons of vanilla. I have one teaspoon so I'm going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. Two teaspoons. One. Two. Okay. Two teaspoons of vanilla and the one cup of milk okay mixer in there. I'm going to do this so that the flour or the cake mix doesn't go all over the place. And like I said, I like butter pecan so that's what I'm using, but you can use white eggs, I mean white cake mix or yellow cake mix. Or whatever flavor you like. Friday, they came a little after 3.30. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Actually, all week. It's been a little after 3.30. Probably the bus is late, the school bus. And right now, it's, it's almost 3.30. They should be here soon. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, the mixer. Let me 
with that still. So this mixer only goes so um, the cord is or the plug is on the other end. So. Dingies and your dingies and For about a half a minute, a minute. I like to make sure all the lumps are out of it. There's no lump. The lump creates air pockets in your case. I don't want it too liquidy either. I guess these are like eight by eight, eight by eight, I think. I'm not really sure what size these are. But that's how I'm gonna pour it in. And once again, I need to prop the camera up with something. Because I need to use this. Okay. Okay, the oven is already at 350 so make sure your oven is at 350 and you're gonna do it you're gonna bake it in the oven for the amount of time according to these directions here your pan size and I am using they're not round I'm using two uh, medium size pan and I don't see that here so I'm going to go buy a round one. So this is two 8 inch round and two 9 inch round. So I'm just going to average it out to about, let's say, 30 minutes in between both of these. So we're going to put the cake in for 30 minutes and instead of Putting butter on this or oil, I'm going to use vegetable oil cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray this down. And spray this one down. And if you want to, you can sprinkle some flour on, on in there if you like. I don't. And I'm going to put half of this mix in here and the other half in here. Okay, let me get my spatula. Half of the mixture in here. And this one. Okay. 
and half of it in here. And you fill them up to about almost half. This is going to rise. So almost half. Or you can just use one regular pan and just make one. I'm choosing to do two because I'm doing two different, two different, um, one's going to have whipped cream and the other one's not. Okay. Oven ready? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like much, but it's it's less than half, and the same with this one, less than half. So that way it's even on both both of them. I'm gonna put it in the oven, like I said, for since it's not really that deep the 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 mixture in here. I'm going to go ahead and start at 20 minutes and keeping an eye on it and then doing my test with the fork or the toothpick. Make sure it comes out clean. That's how you know that the cake is done. But because this is like less than half a pan, I'm going to start at 20 minutes checking them after 20 minutes. Okay, I put my timer at 20 minutes, so when I hear it beeping, then I'll take it out and show you all what it looks like after it's cooked, and then we'll do the next step, which will be putting the tres leches over the cake. And I'm going to be adding pineapple and whipped cream. Where's my pineapple? Oh, I thought I had it out here. I think I left it in here. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's refrigerating. I want it nice and cold. That's why. All right, folks, I'll be back to put the final touches, uh, the final steps, okay?